Exhaling it out. Another big breath in, feeling your belly expand. Exhaling out with a Just keep doing this. So we'll just spend the first few minutes of class just checking in, stilling our body, paying attention to our breath. And each exhalation, see if you can find some place in your body where you can release a little bit. Maybe it's your eyes. You know, if you've been working on the computer all day, see if you can soften your eyes, feel your eyeballs kind of soften into the back of your skull. Or your forehead, your jaw, your shoulders. So just do this as you slowly breathe in and releasing as you exhale. So let's take three more really nice, big, full breaths. And just noticing too how we can control our breath. So as we do our practice today, we want to remember that yoga is the union between breath and postures. We want to keep our awareness on our breath and see if we can continue this nice, deep, even breathing, using the breath to move us into the posture and also to relax us when we're in the posture. So we don't build tension, we release tension. And then by the time class is over, we'll feel so good, so balanced, so well. So on your next inhalation, just slowly open your eyes. And as you exhale, find your way onto your back. Stretch out flat on the mat. My camera angle, there we go. So arms over your head with a big inhalation, stretch out through your fingers, through your toes, and exhale, soften into the mat. And inhale, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, soften. One more inhalation, stretching out. Exhale, soften. Then on the next inhalation, bring your right knee into your chest, pulling it in towards your body, softening as you exhale. Breathing in, see if you can pull your knee in a little bit more. Exhale, pause and release into the pose. And now let's draw some circles with our big toe. So rotating our ankle, Going in one direction about three times, then going in the other direction. Starting to loosen up the joints, feeling the mobility. So breathing in, feel your belly press against your leg. Exhale, release your knee, arms come up over your head. Big breath in here. Exhale, left knee into the chest, pausing here. Breathing in, extending into the pose. Exhale, softening, pulling your knee in maybe a little more. And then draw the circles with your left toe. Going in one direction. And then going in the other direction. Breathing in, expanding your belly. Then exhale, release your left leg, arms come up overhead. Reach as you inhale, soften as you exhale. Next inhalation brings both legs into your chest, wrapping your arms around and giving yourself a little hug. Inhale here, bring your chin up off, I mean, towards your knees, shoulders up off the mat. Inhale, hold it here. Exhale, soften, but keep your head and shoulders up off the mat. Let's do two more big breaths, trying to hold this little ball position, softening with the exhale. One more breath. 
Exhale, release back down to the mat. Keep your knees in towards your body. Arms come out at a T shape, palms facing down. Inhale here, exhale, knees drop to the right, but don't let them touch. See if you can just hover them a little bit above the ground. And then inhale back to the center. Exhale, knees to the left. So I want you to repeat this, going with your breath. And if you want it to be more of an ab workout, straightening our legs. And then it's a little bit more intense. But if you're doing that, still keep your shoulders pressed to the mat. Keep your palms pressed to the ground. Using your core to move your legs back and forth. Thinking about that core. So I think about my ribs attached to my hips by a strap, like the strap on my sandals. And I pull on that strap to keep that core active. That protects my low back. So I want you to do two more to each side, okay? So four more total. And when you've done your four, you're gonna lower your feet to the mat Feet mat width apart, knees drop in for constructive rest, arms come down at your side. Staying here, checking in with your breath, breathing in, softening as you exhale. Two more nice, gentle breaths, releasing. So now let's move our feet back in so they're um, even with our hips. So we're just gonna do some little gentle bridges here and we're gonna inhale, our arms are gonna come up over the mat and then we're gonna press with our feet and raise our hips up. Exhale, lowering arms and hips. So inhale, raising up. Exhale, lowering. Again, check in with our core here. So staying with your breath, let's just do a few of these, enjoying the fluidity of our spine. Noticing as our vertebrae come up off the mat and go back down. Do three more. And after you do three more, pause back in that constructive rest pose. So feet mat width apart, knees touching, checking in with your breath. Breathe in. Exhale, soft. Two more big breaths. So inhale, bring your knees back into your chest and tuck your hands right in your knee crease. So you're folded over. And then we're gonna use our feet to gently start rocking and rolling. Rocking and roll. So this is another great massage for our backs. And on the next one, I want you to roll all the way up and find yourself in a cross-legged posture. Computer, there we go. So inhale, arms are gonna come up. Exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. Just for one breath though, inhale, sit up straight and tall. Exhale, then inhale, arms back up, and then twist to the left. One breath, inhale, straight and tall. Exhale, inhale, arms come back up. Exhale, twist. So we'll repeat this a few times, pausing at each twist, inhaling to the center, exhaling, twist.
We're gonna do one more to each side. And then meet in the middle, hands on our knees, but let's change the cross of our legs. And now we're just gonna do some um, Sufi grind. So just going around, feeling in our hip sockets, closing your eyes if that feels good. I kind of inhale as I go back, exhale as I go forward. and then go in the other direction. And pausing in the center, taking a big breath in, exhale, releasing our shoulders a little. Big breath in, softening something else as you exhale. Next inhale, I want you to roll over and come to hands and knees. So we're gonna do a few little poses here kind of linked together by the breath. So the first time we're gonna go slow and then we'll um, build and speed a little bit. So first we're just gonna do two cat cows. So inhale, breath, belly down, exhale, tuck. Then inhale, belly down. Exhale, tuck and reach up. Then the next inhalation, let your legs come back, bend your elbows, come to cobra. Inhale, up for cobra. Exhale, push back to child's pose. Inhale, come up, and your right arm comes up in the air. Exhale, thread the needle. Holding this for a breath, inhale, exhale. Next inhale, transitioning back to child's. Inhale, come up, left arm goes up in the air. Exhale, thread the needle. Hold this for a breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, Come back to hands and knees. Exhale. Inhale, tuck your toes. Step and push back up to, up to down dog. Walking out our dog. Might be the first down dog of the day. Pausing here. Inhale, exhale, come back down to hands and knees. So we're gonna repeat that whole thing again. So inhale, cat, I mean cow. <laughs> exhale, cow. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, child. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread. Hold for a breath. Inhale, back to child's. Exhale. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread. Holding for a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to tabletop, tucking toes. Exhale back to down dog. This time just take a breath here. Inhale, exhale. Now come back to hands and knees or if you want to make it more, stay in a plank pose. So if you're on hands and knees, we're going to do the whole series one more time. So inhale for cow. If you're in plank, you're just holding your plank. Two sets of cat cow. And then inhale for cobra. Chaturanga or cobra. Exhale back to child's. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread. 
holding for our breath. Inhale back to child. Coming up, left arm comes up with the breath in. Exhale, on, uh, thread the needle. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back to tabletop. Exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, exhale. And then this time we're gonna just walk our feet up to our hands and hang here in our forward fold. So do what feels right. Maybe you need to bend your knees a little more. Maybe it feels good to clasp opposite elbow. Maybe it feels good to shake our heads. Oh. Maybe it feels good to do a big lion's breath where you stick your tongue out and you go. Oh. Just enjoy this. Check in with our breath. Feel your belly expand against your legs and then release. So now we're all going to just let our hands flop down on the ground and start swaying, gently swaying back and forth. And as you're swaying, keeping your chin tucked, I want you to slowly start to stand up. So our heads are gonna be the last thing and we're gonna keep swaying. And when we get to the top, if we can keep our eyes closed and just let our arms sway as big as they can. Let me fix my camera. <laughs> there we go. And then start to slow down the sway until you're not moving anymore. And just close your eyes and scan through your body. And notice, maybe you feel some tingling. Maybe you just feel a release of tension so you feel lighter. This is the energy, it's starting to move freer in our bodies. So with a big breath in, opening our eyes, let's find our mountain pose. Exhale here. And then let's just do a few inhales and exhales, but we're not gonna do any sun salutations yet. So just inhale it back up. Exhale. Inhale, we reach up. Exhale. Checking in with our core, keeping our active core. One more fold. And then inhale, comes back up. Bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes again. Noticing the breath. Big breath in, letting it out. So opening our eyes, we're gonna take our hands and um, see how I have them kind of, I've got my left arm crossed over my right and I got my fingers interlaced. And then I'm going to raise, raise them up over my head. I'm going to try to relax my shoulders. I'm going to inhale here, and then I'm going to reach over to the right. So I'm using my right arm to even pull my left arm a little more. And then if I bend my right knee, I can go a little deeper into it. So holding this for a breath, softening a little more as I exhale, inhaling here, exhale brings me up and then bring our hands down and let's swap. So now the right arm's on top. So bring our hands back up, inhale here, and then exhale, I'm using my left arm to pull my right arm, bending my left knee a little to really get into it. So inhale, I extend, exhale, I soften into it. Inhale, one more extension, exhale, brings me back up, and release and raise. Or line our shoulders a little. Then let's put our hands behind us. So let's see if you can do it like this, fingers pointing up. If not, you can take opposite elbow, or you can just put your hands on your hips. So go with what feels right for your body. And then active core, okay? So strong core, rolling our shoulders back. Inhale, exhale. Can we do a little mini back bend? 
Hold it here. So breathing in, extending into the pose. Exhale, softening. Inhale, extending. And exhale, come back up. One more big breath in here, reaching up. Exhale, fold. So inhale, we're going to do a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, you're going to plant your hands. And you're going to either step back and go to your knees or take a plank. And if you're on your knees, you're going to lower to the belly and to your chest, scoop up to cobra or chaturanga down. Inhale here, exhale. You're going to tuck and press up to down dog. Breathing in here, breathing out. One more breath in. Exhale, you're gonna step up to the front of the mat or jump up. Inhale for flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're coming all the way up. And that felt so good, we're gonna go right back down with our exhale and do it again. Inhaling for flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, this time I'm stepping back with my left leg, coming to plank or my knees, lowering down, chest, scooping up, cobra, exhaling, tucking my toes, pushing back to down dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, exhaling, left foot comes forward, Hold it here. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're going to come all the way up. And we're going to bring our hands to heart center. Pausing here, closing our eyes. Noticing. How does our body feel? How it responds to the motion in the breath. It feels so much better. One more breath in. Exhale, hands come to your side. So inhale here. I want us to make our right leg really strong and see if we can take our left leg up to tree. So we can keep it down here. Oh, I can't see my feet. Well, step. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> we gotta do that. <laughs> okay, so down or up, or if you wanna go all the way up, you can do that too. So find what feels good. Strong core here, tight glutes. I've got my hands at prayer, but what about if I put my arms up like a tree? All of our beautiful trees. And if you really want to challenge yourself, try closing your eyes. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more breath in, exhale, we're going to lower our left foot, arms come down. And now we're going to repeat, so we want our left leg to really be strong, our right foot's coming up, so either ankle, calf, or let's take it all the way up. So go with what feels right for your body right now. Active core, tight glutes, hands to heart center, or hands all the way up in the air. Maybe you close your eyes. Breathing in, breathing out, soften into the pose. One more breath in, exhale, release. So let's step really wide on our mats. Float our arms around behind us, interlace our fingers rolling our shoulders back, looking up at the ceiling or the sky, big breath in, exhale, we're gonna fold it over. So we're gonna let our arms come up over our head to what feels good. So maybe it's not that far. Maybe you uh, have your palms not touching, so you get a little more space in there. Also, you can try bending your elbows a little, that sometimes brings it into the shoulder more. So whatever feels good for you, 
the wider apart your feet, the easier it is on your hamstrings. So if your hamstrings are screaming, wiggle your feet a little further apart and keep your core active. Nod your head yes, shake your head no. See if you can maybe just shake it out a little. <sighs> Breathing in, exhale, soften into the pose a little more. Maybe your arms go further over your head. Breathing in, then exhale, release your hands, but keep your feet really wide. So let's put our left hand right under our face and inhale our right arm up to the sky. Now, before you take your right arm all the way, though, reach back there and feel your hips. We want to try to keep them level. So it's like if somebody was going to put a cup of tea on our back, it wouldn't spill. Then float the arm up. So see, it's just a little bit more of a twist if you do that. So breathing in, extend through your right arm. Exhale, soften. One more breath in, really extend. Exhale, right arm comes down, pausing here. Then inhale, left arm's coming up to the ceiling. Breathing in, softening with the exhale. One more breath in, reaching up. Exhale, come back to the center. And then we're gonna wiggle our feet in and see if we can find a malasana squat. So depending on your body, your heels might need to stay up and that's okay. You might want to have a pillow or a block or something under there. And if you want to take this to crow pose, I know some of you enjoy that. This would be a great time to do it. I'm just focusing on holding my Malasana squat. So I'm pressing knees into elbows and elbows into knees and I'm relaxing my shoulders. And I haven't been practicing my squat. I, I really have to do it every day or my ankles don't like it. <laughs> and I haven't been doing it every day and my ankles are telling me, you need to be doing this every day. So it's harder for me to relax into it. So breathe, let my breath. Very nice, I see some crows out there. Excellent strength and balance. And let's see if we can hold this for just two more breaths. And then we're gonna try being really, really strong. Take our arms out wide, or straight out in front of us, and then can we stand up? Oh, there we go. Oh, very good. Y'all looked awesome doing that. And then just let your arms release, fold them back down, and I'm gonna fix my computer a little. So stepping up to the front of our mats, let's put our hands on our hips and step our right leg back to warrior one feet. So I got my front left leg bent, knee over ankle. My hands on my hips help me turn my right hip so it's facing forward and pull my left hip back a little bit. Active core, and then I'm gonna really keep my shoulders back as I inhale my arms up, looking up at the sky. Breathing in, can I sink down into that knee a little more? Exhale, soften. One more inhale, and then exhale, I'm gonna come up and open out to warrior two. Switch back, backwards from y'all. <laughs> so warrior two. So inhale here, exhale, straighten your front leg, let your arms come up overhead, look up at your arms. And then inhale, take it back to warrior two. And let's repeat this a few more times, using your breath as a guide. Softening into it, keeping your shoulders relaxed. Good 
do two more. And then on the last one, keep your front leg, your left leg straight as we take our arms back down and shift your right hip back a little as you reach out with your left arm and turn it into triangle. So here in triangle, we wanna really keep our back foot strong, our core active and relaxing our shoulders. Inhaling, exhaling, let's do some arm circles. So just really big arm circles. Feels good in our shoulder. Go in the other direction too. Pausing up at the top, holding our triangle pose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, I'm gonna float my right arm down, pivot on my back foot and step it in a little bit, and then turn this into pyramid pose. Inhale, flat back, reaching out over my left leg. Exhale, fold. So bend your knees if you need to. You know, make this pose feel good. Scoot your back foot in a little bit more. Each exhalation, see if you can soften in a little more. One more big breath in. Exhale, turn your foot your right foot back so it's at the 45 degree angle. Bend your front knee and use your strong core. Come all the way back up to warrior two. And then turn to warrior one. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, step back up to the front of the mat. Pausing here, now we're gonna repeat this with our other leg going back. So inhale, exhale, I'm stepping my left foot back, warrior one on the left. Checking in, hips forward, front knee is right over my ankle, core is active, chest is open, shoulders back as I reach up. And hey, I forgot to tell y'all, smile, it's Friday. We're doing yoga and we feel amazing. So big breath in, exhale, soften a little more deeper into your knee. Big breath in here, exhale, open it out to warrior two. Breathing in, breathing out. And then let's add the little arm fluid. So inhale here, Exhale, straighten our leg and look up as our arms come up. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale. Inhale. Feeling it with our breath. Try to keep our shoulders relaxed, especially when we bring our arms up. Don't let the shoulders go up too. Let's do two more. One more. We're going to keep our legs straight as our arms come out. Shift my left hip back, reaching out with my front arm, turning it into triangle. So activate your core here in triangle, extending out through your top arm. Exhale, soften into the pose. And then let's do the arm circles. Go in the other direction. Pausing with your arm straight up. Inhale here. Exhale, float your arm down. Turn your back foot and step it in a little bit. And then inhale for flat back. 
Exhale, folding over for pyramid. Again, make this pose feel good, bending your front knee if you need to. <sighs> Finding the placement of your back foot so your hamstrings aren't screaming at you. Enjoying the feeling of your spine draped across that front leg. Two more breaths here. And then let's turn our back foot to be 45 degrees again. Using our strong core, inhale back up to warrior two. Exhale, pause. Inhale, turns our hips, sinking in that front leg. Warrior one, exhale, pause. Inhale, hands to your hips. Exhale, step up to the front of the mat. Hands at heart center, close your eyes. Feel your strong legs. Feel your relaxed shoulders and smile a little bit. <sighs> so opening our eyes, let's put our hands on our hips. And we're gonna come up on our toes. So can we balance up here on our toes? Whoa. Now, if this feels okay to you, try bending your knees even a little bit. Maybe your hands even come up. So it's almost like you're in a chair pose, but you're up on your toes. Good balancing. And then hands back to our hips, and now lower our heels and make it a real chair pose. So sinking back, pressing my legs together, arms come up. Let's hold this one for three big breaths. And then exhaling, let's take our hands down, come all the way down and find a seated position. I'm gonna adjust my camera on here now. And first let's just do staff pose. So, again. <laughs> okay, so I've got my sitting bones nice on the mat. I kind of move that flesh, my feet pointing straight up, shoulders roll back, active core here. So inhale, arms come up, and then I'm going to go forward, but I want to keep my back straight, okay? Don't round your back, and go to where you can. So maybe you're only going to your shins, then when you find your extension where you can't go any further, pause here, soften into it. Inhale, and then exhale, just drape over. Let your head flop down. See if you can relax your neck. Breathe into it. <sighs> Maybe it feels better to let your knees bend a little bit. But we're going to stay here for about five more breaths, using the breath to help us go more into the pose. One more big breath in. See if you can really soften into it as you exhale. And then inhale, bring yourself back up to seated. Rolling our shoulders back. And then I want you to take your right leg out to the side and bring your left leg in. And there's two options, okay? This one is a little bit more gentle on your hip. If you want a little more of a hip opener, you can bend your leg back a little like that. 
But if you're bending your leg back, you still wanna keep your sits bone. So if this hip rises up, then go back to leg position number one. And then we're gonna to turn towards our right leg. And we're gonna inhale up and exhale, folding over. So if that second leg position was too much, change it back to leg position number one. Releasing your head, focusing on your breath, moving you more into the pose. Two more breaths here. Then inhaling, come up. Pausing here, exhale. And then you're gonna take your right arm and kind of slide it down on the inside of your leg. And your left arm's gonna come up and maybe it's just gonna come to the back of your head Maybe it's gonna come all the way over. But the important thing is we don't wanna collapse our chest. So we gotta keep our chest open. So if your arm's right here and your chest is open, that's more of an opening. That's what we want. So don't collapse in on your chest. So inhale here, exhale, see if you can soften into it. Softening with that exhalation. Two more breaths. And then inhale, come back up. And everybody make sure their leg is in this position where their foot's on the inside of their other leg, the right leg. And then we're gonna take our right leg up and cross it over for a seated twist. So I'm gonna inhale, my right arm comes around as close to my body as I can get it. And then left arm's either gonna grab onto my leg or hook over, exhale, soften. Inhale, straightening my spine, twisting, looking over my right shoulder. Exhale, soften. So keep using your breath to go deeper into the twist. Two more breaths. And then inhale back to the center. Pausing here, untwisting my legs, coming up to a wide legged. Before we do the other side, just kind of rock your legs back and forth or maybe shake them up and down. Then I'm gonna bring right foot in, or if you wanna try the more hip opener pose, and I'm turning, so I'm facing my left leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, draping over my left leg. Inhale, kind of straighten my spine a little. Exhale, releasing down. Tucking my chin, just letting my head go. <sighs>
Feeling your body softening in. The breath is the tool to bring you deeper into the pose. Two more breaths. And then inhaling comes back up. Pausing here. And then I'm sliding my left arm on the inside of my left leg. Right arm comes up as I inhale. Exhale, I'm turning. Trying to keep my chest open though. So I'm supporting my head so I can relax my neck. Breathing into this, kind of twisting up towards the ceiling with my chest. <sighs> Softening with my exhale. Two more breaths here. Then inhale, come back up. Exhale, pause. Inhale, left leg's crossing over. Exhale. Inhale, left arm around behind. And then hook in my knee or grab onto my knee. Pausing here. Then inhale, extending and twisting. Exhale, softening into the twist. Holding this for a few breaths to really let the breath move our body deeper into the twist. Two more breaths. Inhaling back to center, exhaling unwind. And then let's bring our feet together. And depending on your opening and your hips, if you want more of a hip opener, feet come closer to the body. If not, keep them out a little bit. Grabbing onto your ankles, rolling your shoulders back, breathing in, and then exhale going forward, keeping your spine straight. Use your elbows to push down on your legs. Inhale, straight spine, and then exhale, release. Rounding and letting it all go. Holding this one for a few breaths, softening with the exhalation. Two more breaths here. Inhaling, sit back up, pausing here, and then take yourself onto your back. And we're gonna just do a, a couple back bends. So setting up for bridge. So, you can do a full bridge if you want, or you can do like what we did at the beginning of class where we just raise our arms up and just do a little mini bridge. So whichever one you're gonna do, you really wanna activate your core, press your feet into the mat, and then raise your hips up, 
So for bridge, I get my shoulders under there and I press into the mat with my shoulders and my feet. Strong core, try to relax your glutes, pressing in, raising your hips a little higher, holding this for a few more breaths. Now, if you're doing the mini back bend, you're holding it too, but you're just not up as high. And this is still a back bend, and it's still really good strengthening our quads. One more breath in, exhale, lowering. So pausing here for a few breaths, and then we're going to do one more. So you can either repeat the bridge. You could do a wheel if you're feeling really energized. You can do a mini bridge. So you pick which one would feel so delicious right now. And inhale yourself up into your second back bend. <sighs> so inhaling, you reach and extend into the pose. Exhale, soften, especially those glutes. Your core is what's holding you up in this pose. Your shoulders pressing down, your feet pressing into the mat. Two more breaths. And then start to lower yourself slowly to the mat. Setting your knees up for constructive rest or pull them into your body and rotate around on your lower back, just massaging that lower back or just holding in constructive rest. Breathe in, breathe out. Thinking about what inversion would feel great right now. So if you're wanting to do a shoulder stand or a head stand or just a nice easy inversion waterfall, that's what I'm gonna do. So just legs straight up. Still keeping your core active. So especially if you're doing shoulder stand, strong core. You don't want to dump into that cervical spine. So use your core to raise your legs up. Strong core. But at the same time, we're really active core. Don't bring tension. So relax your face, your jaw. Feel your belly expand and soften. Maybe you even close your eyes. So shoulder standers, if you want to take it into plow, or if you want to bring your knees alongside your ears for deaf man's pose. And those of us in waterfall, I'm just folding my legs in now, holding them in. And then I'm doing that little massaging out my back again, rotating my knees in both directions. So shoulder standers moving out of the pose, finding your way back to your back and doing whatever you wanna to do to release your back. So windshield wiper your knees or constructive rest or draw in little circles. So from here, let's take it into happy baby but I wanna do one leg at a time. So straighten our left leg out, bring your right leg in and find your happy baby on the right. And by doing this, we can really extend out through our left leg and feel a nice stretch in the front of that leg. 
And also it lets us get our right leg bent a little bit more so we get even more compression. So we're compressing in that hip. And then when we release, we send all the blood into that spot. So it's really healthy for our joints. Breathing in, breathing out. Two more big breaths. See if you can soften, pull your right foot down a little bit more. And then before we do the left foot, we're just gonna turn this into a twist. So take your left hand, grab your right knee, pull it across your body, open your right arm out at a T and look over your right shoulder. So inhale, see if you can use your left hand to push your right knee down a little. Exhale, just soften and let everything go. Breathe into the pose. Exhale, softening. Two more big breaths, enjoying it, letting your spine twist a little more. And then on your inhalation, come back to the center, stretch your right leg out, reach up over your head, inhale for a full body stretch, and then exhale, soften. And then inhale, left leg's coming into half happy baby. So finding the outside of our left foot. Keeping our right leg straight. Feel the stretch in that top of the right leg. Inhaling, exhaling, softening into it. Holding it for a few breaths. Bringing the breath into what feels tight. Can we release a little more? Two more breaths, softening a little more as you exhale. And then turning it into the twist. So right hand to the top of my left knee, pulling my left leg across, opening up with my left arm, looking over my left shoulder. Inhale, I press my right hand into my left leg, and then exhale, soften, release everything. Notice, let your hand release, let your neck release. Big breaths in, filling it up, softening as you exhale. Two more delicious breaths. Inhaling back to center, arms come up over your head, reaching out through your fingers and toes. Exhale, soften it out. 
Do that one more time. Just really reach full body stretch. Exhale, soften. And then let your arms float down to the sides of your body and let your feet just flop out. Get yourself comfortable for Shavasana. Take one more big breath in. Exhale it out with a And then stop controlling your breath and just lay in stillness. See if you can start to notice your breath. Don't do anything to change it. Just notice it again as it moves in and moves out. Start adding in some little motions as you start to deepen your breath. Feeling it moving in and moving out. Gradually becoming accustomed to your body again, feeling your fingers and your toes, allowing yourself to move, to curl up on your favorite side. Pausing here, staying with the stillness, scan through your body, noticing the feeling of well being, the feeling of harmony, of balance. This is how our bodies are meant to feel. This is how we're supposed to be. By coming here today, you gave yourself this gift. Allow yourself to feel such appreciation that you did that. You took this time for yourself. You appreciate yourself. You're thankful for all you do. And then as gently as possible, see if you can come up and sit in a cross-legged posture, keeping your eyes closed or gently lowered. Let's take the last few minutes of class just to sit in silence like we did at the beginning of class. Just sitting with each other and with our breath. bringing your hands together at heart center. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for coming to play with me tonight. Namaste.